Hello friends, welcome back to MS Point. Uh, well, the 14th February is coming near, so love is in the year. So in the, for the occasion of love, we are going to design a Valentine's Day card in this video and I'll show you every step-by-step -step procedure which you can follow and actually come up with this particular design. Okay, let's start the design. First, we'll take a blank document and get rid of the margins. So we go to layout, margins, custom margins and we set all the margins to zeros. After that, we'll set the paper size to 3.5 and height is 5. Press OK. If you get any prompt message, just simply ignore that. There we have a blank free canvas ready without any border. We'll start the design by inserting a shape. We'll take a rectangular shape, click and drag. Go to shape field with picture. We already have a background picture downloaded in our system. We'll just simply use that. We took a love thin background. Now let's insert a shape. Go to heart, click and drag. Adjust the placement and rotate a lift mix make it a bit lifted click and drag place it here ctrl c and ctrl v will duplicate this particular shape let's go up. now we are going to place it here rotate this one a bit as well once you have the both the shape we will go to the shape fill picture will include a couple picture in here looks nice go to shave outline no outline again we are going to insert another picture here same picture no outline if you have a different picture, you can uh, use as well. Okay, now select this and go to gradient, more gradients, go to effect option, shadows, increase the distance a bit first. Let's keep it at 12. Then we'll change the angle to to the maximum point now we'll adjust the blur effect transparency we need to increase the transparency a bit as well so there you are with a beautiful shadow effect now we are going to use the same thing for the first small heart shape as well we'll increase that distance a little then adjust the blur as well Transparency need to decrease a little. There you are. Okay, we have completed the both the half shape with the shadow effect. Now it's time to include a little text to wish your loved ones. So we start with the text box and type happy. Increase the font size a little. Change the font style no fill no outline we remove the outline and no fill for the text box and change the color of the text as well time to copy the text box ctrl c and ctrl v there you have a new text box with the same formatted option we increase the font size and type valentines V A L E N T I N apostrophe S. Adjust the text box that it doc it can accommodate the full text in it. Adjust the placement as well. Once again, copy this text box and place it here. 
happy day and there you are make sure to always adjust the text box that it doesn't not, does not occupy or consume more texts okay now it's time to select all the three text box right click on it or rather you can actually select all the three and make the placement all together by dragging looks nice go to insert shape rectangular shape click and drag go to shape field picture we're going to sprinkle some heart and actually valentine's day based some themes here click and drag there was the shape outline no outline rotate it a little let's it here looks nice okay repeat the procedure by control c and control v rotate it till here make it a little larger and place it here that it does not actually obstruct the main focal couple picture okay now we are going to use a background or rather border in it to give this card a special effect how to do that i'll show you go to insert section go to shape take a rectangular shape click and drag go to shape fill with picture we already have a background downloaded in our system you can alternately do that there you are now we'll adjust this border for for swatch that fact okay as you can see this border is actually uh, obstructing the heart shape so what do I, what we are going to do we are going to send this particular border to the back okay so what you need to do is right click on it send it to back and it will disappear don't worry because as there are three layers it all it went back all the way to the back section so what do you have to do you have to bring it from from the background so right click on the background and send to back now there you are okay this this is the way you have to keep in mind go to shape outline no outline align center align middle perfect the design is almost completed if you want you can use any custom masses as well in the bottom uh, section or uh, i'll be rather keep it simple just to wish our loved ones with a simple valentine's day masses if you love if you like or love this design please give this video a thumbs up and do subscribe our channel that in future whenever we come up with a new video you can instantly get that thanks for watching and we'll catch in our next video